Yo, yo, my monkey friends, Lord of Monkey Boy here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we did uh, pretty much all of the remainder of the side quests that you can do in the sky at this time, and today we're going to be continuing on the, onward with the main quest. The first thing we have to do is, as you can see, I'm currently at the Isle of Songs, and that's because we have to learn a new song in order to go to the next Silent Realm, so let's just do that. Okay, that somehow missed. Not really sure how, but let's try that again. Uh, there we go. And you're, we're going to get pretty much the exact same cutscene that we got those other two times, only this time everything will be red instead of green or blue because red is the color of Din and all that stuff. I also like where the statue is, how it just comes up from underneath Link. I'm not sure if you noticed, but that like goddess statue, I guess, is, like, is in a different spot every time because the first one it comes from the ground, the second time it comes from the ceiling, and then the third time it just comes from right below Link, which is kind of interesting. Anyways, a feel literally say the exact same message as she said last time so uh, you can read it or you don't have to because honestly I'm not gonna read who cares guess something interesting that I can say this is officially the longest LP that I've ever done because I believe this is part 38 and before this my before this my longest LP was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and that had 35 parts so I guess that's sort of something and I was actually doing like some calculations about how long this LP will probably last, and I'm predicting probably 21 to 22 more episodes. So yeah, we still have a pretty decent way to go, but we'll see. Anyways, I mean, I, I understood that this obviously is a much longer game than any of the games that I've done in the past, so it makes sense that it'll be the longest LP. I mean, and a lot, a lot of my episodes have been pretty long, too. I mean, my first episode was over an hour, so if we're just going to talk time-wise, it's probably the longest as well. I mean, that makes sense. I don't really know what else is going with there. Anyways, uh, same awesome cutscene. As I said, everything is a reddish hue as opposed to green or blue. That rhymes unintentionally, which is kind of cool, but oh well. And anyway, we get a different... Also, there's a different music track in the background. That one is called Din's Power. Probably. That's my prediction. I mean, it might not. Yep, Dim's Power. I knew it. I mean, the other ones were Furore's Courage and Nehru's Wisdom, so it's pretty obvious. And just like all the other times, uh, like how then the statue goes back down. And at this point, uh, we never actually have to come back to the Isle of Songs, which is interesting. Um, like, from now on, like, hitting that little goddess emblem or whatever it's called, that's just what I'm going to call it. Uh, it'll never actually do anything. Anyways, uh, first things first, let's just, um, so that the, um, beeping will stop, let's, uh, be at somewhere over there. I, I, I can get a very detailed location of where it is from the inside of the Isle of Songs, trying to go all the way to Elden. Anyways, uh, like I have been doing, I'm just going to meet you guys. And I'll, I guess I'll show you where you should descend, and I will meet you at the entrance to the Silent Realm. And yeah, see you there. Uh, and we are descending into Elden. So uh, the place that we want to go to um, be closest to the uh, entrance to the Silent Realm is the one that is the Volcano Ascent. I believe that is correct. I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, I think this is right. I, I know, like, where the entrance to the Silent Realm is, but I think this is the one closest. Yep. All right, perfect. Uh, this is the one that's, like, directly across from the bridge uh, that we, like, made appear that, like, Impa stepped on the little uh, switch to uh, open up the little bridge over there. You guys, like, remember this area? Anyways, it's right here. So, yeah, let's just take out our harp, and let's see how long this one will take. I did pretty well with the one in Lanaru, so maybe I'm getting the hang of this stuff. Let's find out. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Alright. There we go. Here we go. The thing is, it always, like, confuses me, like, the direction that you want to strum it. Like, I always seem to go in the wrong direction initially, and then it takes me a little bit of time to straighten myself out, but, wow, I am getting really good at that, so, that was pretty good. I mean, as soon as I straightened out, like, the direction that you have to strum, because I guess I should say, like, strumming one way versus strumming the other way does make a difference, and I think you have to, like, strum to the right first, and then strum to the left, 
like jump to the right when it's going out and jump to the left when it's going in and I was doing it backwards and if you do it backwards you won't get anywhere and it sort of takes a while to straighten out because you basically have to just stop and then start for the beginning of a new one and there we go also if you want uh, you can welcome to hang around because this is your one and only chance to listen to Din's Power either that or you can just look up the song on YouTube or something and you'll get pretty much the same result anyways uh let's go into this uh, let's go in Let's do this. And here we go, the next Silent Realm. So this is considered to be the most difficult one. And the reason for that is mainly just, um... Elden is just a lot, like, more harder to get to certain areas than the other areas. Like, I mean, Farron and Lanier are both pretty interconnected. But Elden has, like, a lot of areas that... It's very, like, linear when you think about it. Like, basically, we have to go all the way back to the beginning, but there's only really one way to do that. It's not like Fair and War, you can just sort of go in circles, but here, you sort of have to, um... It's just a lot more linear, and a lot of areas are just a lot harder to get to. And we pretty much have to go everywhere once again, but, like, getting from one place... Like, there's not very many ways to get from, like, the far side to the near side. You just have to pretty much just go... You just have to, like, retrace your steps a lot, and you can't really take any really good shortcuts the way you could in the other areas. Plus, there is, like, lava everywhere. Now, the lava, as I said, doesn't hurt you, because you can't take damage from normal things in this area. It's just the goddess, um, the guardians that you have to worry about. Anyways, I don't even know where, like, the... I can't even think of, like, where a good tier of light is to start off. Okay, there's one over there that's being guarded. You know what, whatever, YOLO, I'll find one. Who even cares? And where do we want to go first? Okay, um, let's go this way. Why not? Uh, this is probably a bad direction, but... Okay, nope, there's one right there. Cool. I guess I just realized, like, what, what wait, dude, do you want to, like, jump? I guess, I guess realize when it's, like, in the, um, like, the... When the gardens are awake, I think, like, the, uh, tears, like, always show a little beacon. So that's kind of a helpful hint in case you need one. Anyways, let's begin, uh... As I said, I'd, cons I'd like, suggest going all the way to the top first. Okay, dang it. These things are everywhere, these little, like, guys who, like, wake you up, so... Kind of be ca be careful about them. There is one down there that I guess I'll just YOLO, because why not? Uh, I, I just love... Like, a lot of people get sort of, like, nervous when, like, all the Guardians are back and they say it's, like... But I really like it when it's like this. Like, see, so you get to do, like, cool stuff like that. I just, like, did a somersault right underneath his blade. And I actually... I actually really do like the Silent Realms, and I, I kind of like it when they're, when they're like in the peril mode. I mean, it's sort of like, I mean, it's like nerve-wracking and everything, but I think that's what makes it so much fun. Like, you really have to, uh, you have to like really just survive and just go crazy. It's kind of awesome. Okay, but I don't really like being in 24/7. I hate these like, I hate those guys that like with like the lamps. Okay, that's not a good place. Like here, right here, I have to like get up quickly and then quickly like, oh my god, I I got hit. Welp, uh guess you guys get to see what happens if you fail it. I, like, almost survived that, too. I, like, tried to do a somersault, but it failed. Oh, well. No big deal. Anyways, I guess you guys can see what happens if you fail. I can fortunately confirm you failed to pass the trial. Oh, thanks, Fee. You really know how to sugarcoat stuff, don't you? And then after that, you just try it again. I mean, you don't have... I mean, as I said, you have an unlimited number of times. And, uh... You just have to redo it. So, I guess I'll just get what I had before and see if I can survive this time. Alright, that time I guess we can board the light guys. That's cool. I guess I... Someone got hit by him last time and now you can't do anything to me. I think it's funny how you can just like run around the gardens and do stuff when they're asleep and you they really can't do anything to you so that's pretty cool. I anyway, this is the one that I would have gotten to if I had survived but I didn't so... Oh well. I think that's... Is that everything that we can actually do up here? I guess it is. Uh... Well, that was less than I expected. Oh, well. I guess we can get some of these uh, Dusk Relics. Like I said, I think at this point in the game, I don't even have anything to upgrade anymore. But I guess it's nice to have some. I mean, I have a ton of them already. And so, actually, something I still have to show off is there's actually a place. I believe at this point in the game, it's available. Where you can actually buy Dusk Relics. Okay, I just slid right into that guy. Didn't die. Oh, well, that's fine. That is oh, completely okay. And let's go. Alright, so I guess next up, I actually, I feel like there's going to be like one just like waiting for me at the end of this tunnel. Okay, there's that, okay, yep, there he is, alright, whatever, that's fine. 
It, there's like, like when you have like full stamina, you can run these things. You are faster than the um, guardians. The problem is when you like are trying to climb something or you're like out of, uh, when you're out of stamina. That's when you're pretty much screwed. But if you can run, then they really can't catch you. Anyways, the way that you have to get to the top is you actually have to take like this whirlwind, which for some reason is, I guess, active in the silent realm, but whatever. As you saw right there, there's a dust relic behind here, which you may as well get. I mean, why not? Anyways, here we are in like the super hot room. So in the silent realm, that doesn't actually affect you. You can pretty much just spend as long as you want in here. I mean, you have a limited amount of time, but and it wouldn't be recommended to just spend your entire time in here. But you will not die of the heat the way that you would in the actual world. I think in the actual world, you like literally catch on fire, but then you can come down the slide and save it. Anyway, there's like this water on the slide, so try not to hit that. And there's also a bunch of like tiers that you have to sort of get. Let's see if I can get them all. Okay, so there's one, two, okay, so let's go after this one first. Okay. Wait, oh, dude, did I actually just miss it? Oh, that's not good. Okay, so I guess I have to go back to the top. As I said, there is another one up there, but that's okay. I, once you come over here, it's a pretty quick to get back to the top. I guess I can also grab all the ones on this side while I'm here. So, as I said, I usually, the, the strategy that I have is I usually come over here first and I get all of the stuff here and then I go, like, I basically go to the area that had all of the keys to begin and after that I go to, like, the, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to drop down. There's a tier of light on the side right here and after that is when I go and, like, do, like, all the stuff at the beginning. I guess I have to, like, wait to drop down. Oh, well. Anyways, no big deal. Let's just go back to the top. I guess the issue is like missing all of is like when you miss one of them that's up here, you do risk the like running out of time. So I got all of the tiers of light on the way. So if I miss this again, I will be pretty short on time. But I shouldn't miss it a second time since I the issue is like I went for the first one. It's sort of hard to get both. I, I what I should have done is I should have gone for the other one first and then gone for the one that I did get because. I think that's sort of how you have to do it. Anyways, so what we want to do is we want to just like come. Okay, wait, what happened there? I, I guess it was a little bit too steep for Link. Oh well. What we want to do is we want to come back to where the key was, and it's basically right up there. Okay, are these things always going to be on? Whatever, let's just go. They might always be on in this silent realm. I'm not totally sure because I know that they turn on and off in the real world. So I, I guess Nintendo did that so that like you wouldn't like run the risk of running out of time just waiting for them to turn on and off. I, I don't really know. Anyways, that is everything that is on this side of the map. Now all we have to do is go and basically retrace our straps and do all of the stuff that I like did in my I guess the first part. Okay, why, why are you like not jumping? Come on, man. You're the hero of the goddess. You can't not jump and stuff. Anyways, actually to continue, I believe you want to come down here, right? Then we want to like yeah, so we want to come down here and Basically, crossing like this section is, I believe, how we get back to the mainland. Since I believe that the bridge is out, isn't it? Or maybe it's not, and I just don't remember this place that well. But I feel like I remember the bridge being out. Yeah, it is. See, you can't cross there. So, basically, you have to um use this little bridge to get between the two sections. And once again, I'm just so, like... Like, this place is very, like, linear in the sense that there's not really a lot of, like, good ways. Like, to get between these two sections, you have to take that one bridge. You can't just sort of go wherever you want, which is kind of a shame, but... Oh, well. No big deal. Okay. Good. I didn't miss that jump, or this jump, or this jump. Nice. Actually, I guess there's a little bit of platforming involved in this section, too, isn't there? Because you have to basically jump between all these, like, little lava thingies and stuff. Uh, okay, so there's that one up there. I think that one is the one that requires the vine. And let's see if I'm right about that. There's like a vine. Like, okay, the vine is, okay, the vine is right here, so we can simply so jump on this. Uh, I'm not sure if I've shown off how to use vines. I probably have. What you want to do is you want to press B to stop, then basically line yourself up, and then you just want to like shake the Wiimote back and forth. And you can get this easily. Let's see if I can do a cool dismount back jump. That failed. Not really sure what I expected. Actually, I don't even think I have to 
go. Actually, you know what? Better safe than sorry. I'll take the top route. Because if I... Because if there's like one at the top, I'd have to come all the way back. And if there isn't, then I can easily just drop down to the bottom route. I do think that I think that that's actually it. So the, just like the one that you need the vine for. Is there like a probably something cool in here? I guess not. I wonder why Link never took this hammer. I mean, take it now and just smash those guardians in the face with it and see how much they like it. I wonder if you like. And then maybe you can like attack when they're in like the silent room. That would be cool. Okay, so I did have to stay up here. So there's one basically where that piece of heart was. And okay, only two left. Not bad at all. Uh, let's just grab them both now. So we can come over here. And this is like the. This is like back where that bird statue was. And the other one is uh, through that little um tunnel. I guess it's interesting that like I guess. To some extent, the Silent Realms sort of show off areas that uh, have like secrets in the real world. Like coming over here isn't like a requirement, but it's cool because like there was there was like a treasure here. I, I think there was like just a probably just like a rupee chest or something. I don't remember, but it's cool that's like showing it off. Same with like the last one or the second to last one that I got was where that piece of heart was. So I guess somebody might think. Oh wait, we can like come up here. It's so, like maybe some people didn't realize that you could come up to that um, higher up area since you never actually have to do that. And they would have thought, oh wait, I guess I should like try doing that in the normal area and see if there's like anything interesting up there. And maybe you could get a piece of heart if you, you know, somehow didn't notice that or didn't realize that you could even go up there. I guess to get down, I suggest just sort of jumping down here. You can get a, another dusk relic on the way. And now all we have to do is just get back. Which isn't the most difficult thing to do since we pretty much are out of time. The only thing that can really screw us over now are the um, little light guys. Because uh, there isn't really much waking water in this area. There's really the only area that there really is a lot of is on like the slide, on like the big sand slide. There's not really much in this area, but the guardians are whatever, like the waking guardian. I, I don't really know what a lot of these enemies are called. I know that like the. I know that the ones that like go after you once they're awake are called the guardians, but I don't know what like the little guys with the lights are. I guess I should like look that up and I'll probably like put a name of them on screen and I just went the wrong way. So let's go back to where we were. And let's try that again. Like there's like like there's like these guys are like on all of these like bridges. I should like purposely get myself caught and see if I can like survive. Okay, that was actually really, really close, but not close enough. And I think that's actually like the last waking guardian there is so uh pretty cool anyways i guess we're pretty much done at this point all right may as well get the last may as well get another dusk relic i mean i'm trying to get as much treasure as i can and i guess that works i think we just want to come through here next and come on somersault of victory Okay, or we can just walk in when we're completely out of stamina. I was going to try and do a somersault with like the last amount of stamina and do something cool. Anyways, that was Din's Silent Realm. Not the hardest. Probably more difficult than the other two. I mean, I did get caught, but that's just because I was being stupid. Anyways, we got the Fire Shield Earrings. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, basically, they're the equivalent of the Goron Tunic from Ocarina of Time, only it's something that you never take off. It's just something that you have on. 24/7, so you don't have to worry about changing your outfit. And basically, if you if you haven't played Arcane of Time or anything like that, essentially it protects you from extreme heat. So if you remember, there was a section of this area that we saw like a little cave, but we couldn't get there because of the really hot temperatures. Well, now um that we have the fire shield earrings, or I think that's what they're called. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. So also basically at this point we can't really catch on fire either. Like if we catch on fire, the fire will immediately go out. I wonder, wonder if there are like any like fire keys or anything that I can demonstrate that with. Uh, whatever I can just, I'll, I'll, I mean I'll probably catch on fire at some point in the next dungeon. But uh, anyways that's going to be it for today. I mean I did the Silent Realm and I activated the song. And I don't really like going to like the complete new area this, at the same episode that like that I like do the Silent Realm. Like in the last two Silent Realms, there was like a part of the um, ma initial area that I that I couldn't that I could have gone to like with the claw shots. I was able to get all those like goddess chests or got yeah hit all those goddess cubes and stuff. And in Faron, I was able to like do like the tree section. But in both cases, I didn't go to like the Lake Floria or the 
sand sea respectively so same thing with this i will not be going to the completely new area just yet but i will be doing that next time and probably next time i will get all the way up to the dungeon because uh it's not there's not too much that you have to do before you get to the dungeon for this one anyways as i said that's gonna be it for today i thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time goodbye and take care